let's start by looking at the example, which states that find absolute extrema of f of x is x cubed minus 3x squared on the closed interval 1, 4. These brackets indicate that this thing is closed interval. If it was this parenthesis, it's going to be open interval. And the difference between closed interval and open interval is that closed one include the end point. So in this case, we are including, we are including 1 and 4 and everything in between. Now you want to find absolute extrema. And if you remember, absolute extrema is the highest possible value and the lowest possible value a function output. So how can we find this of f of x is x cubed minus 3x squared? Well, what you can think about is let's say, let's say, let's say you have a function and you're looking at this function from a to b and it's a closed interval a to b. So you're including a and you're including b and let's say function does something 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 like something like this this to this now if someone now if someone asks you let, let me actually change this a bit let me actually change this a bit to something like this now let's say someone asked you to find the absolute absolute extrema absolute extrema of this function what is going to be the absolute maximum well, this thing is going to be the absolute maximum because that's the highest point a function values reach. And what's going to be the what's going to be the absolute minimum? Well, it's going to be this point. That's going to be the absolute minimum. That's going to be the absolute maximum because that's the lowest point a function can reach and that's the highest point a function can reach. But how can you find this if you don't have the graph of a function? Well, what, what you can realize is the absolute extrema only can only occur only occur at the critical at the critical point or critical values or critical numbers, however you want to say it, at critical point or at the end point of an extrema. In this case, our relative minimum is at the critical point. If you remember, critical point is where the slope where the slope of our function, our slope of f, is undefined or zero. That is, f prime is undefined or zero. In this case, the slope of the tangent line, which goes something like this, is zero. So f prime is zero. This point is a critical point. And you see at this point, you have a absolute minimum. And for the maximum, you see it's at the end point. It's at when x is b. That's at the end point. Now you see now obviously this point is a critical point at this point f prime is zero but as you can see this point is neither the relative maximum or relative minimum and this point is the end point but it is neither relative minimum or relative maximum so how you find absolute extrema because it can only occur at critical points or at the end point you first you first find or find the end point which is usually given and then you find the critical and then you find the critical points or critical numbers and then you're going to evaluate f evaluate f at each each of these numbers you're going to evaluate f at the left hand point at the right hand point and at the all the critical points between those two end points and that's going to give you like let's say the value you got one and for this you got like five for this you got six and for this, you got zero. And obviously, since zero is the lowest, you can say that's the minimum. And since six is the highest, you know that's going to be the maximum. So let me show you what I mean by working the example out. First of all, you're going to find the end points and the critical points. End points are obviously one and four. How about the critical points? Where the critical points occur when f prime of x is zero or undefined. So let's start by finding f prime of x which is going to be 3x squared minus 6x. And factoring out 3x, you get 3x times x minus 2. And when is this 0? Well, that's going to be when x is 0 or when x is 2. This thing is obviously never going to be undefined. So we can safely say these two are the critical, critical points or critical numbers. Now, we only care about the critical numbers between 1 and 4 because we are finding, we're trying to find the extrema between 1 and 4, including 1 and 4. So we're, go, we're not going to worry about 0, we're only going to worry about 2. 
So now you're going to evaluate evaluate our function at each of these points. We are going to evaluate our function at the end point f of 1 and f of 4 and you are also going to evaluate the function at f of 2, our critical value. Well, f of 1 is x cubed minus 3x squared or 1 minus 3 known as negative 2. f of 4 is 64 minus 48 known as 16 f of 2 is 8 minus 12, I'm just plugging it into f of x, or negative 4. And as you can see, since negative 4 is the lowest out of all, f of 2 is going to be the minimum. And since 16 is the highest out of these three, f of 4 is going to be the maximum. So the, so the, so the relative, so the, not the relative, so the absolute, absolute maximum of this function occurs when x is 2, and that uh, not when x is 2, when x is 4, and the value of the function is 16, that's where the relative absolute, I meant to absolute, absolute maximum is, and the absolute minimum is going to occur at 2, and the function value is negative 4.